SpaceX's Starship system is made for sending humans up to 100 tons of cargo to the moon and Mars. Elon Musk has big plans for his aero company, SpaceX, and one of the company's visions is to ultimately colonize Mars. Building cities on Mars will require affordable delivery of significant quantities of cargo and people. Recently, Elon Musk has been testing a pioneering vessel simply named Starship. The craft is said to be the world's most powerful launch vehicle and is being developed at a super fast speed with 13 prototypes and eight launches completed so far by varying degrees of success. The Starship system is a fully reusable two-stage to orbit super heavy lift launch vehicle under development by SpaceX. The system is composed of a booster stage named Super Heavy and a second stage also called the Starship. Unusual for a traditional launch vehicle, the Starship's second stage is being designed to be a long duration cargo and passenger carrying aircraft. The 16 story tall high altitude prototype like the SN15 represents the top half of the Starship and the bottom half will be towering super heavy boosters that will help launch the Starship's top half before descending back to land. SpaceX's Starship spacecraft and super heavy rocket collective referred to as Starship represents a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth's orbit, the moon, Mars, and beyond. The Starship system features a 230 foot tall, super heavy first stage, generating 16 million pounds of thrust with 28 Raptor engines, more than twice the power of NASA's legendary Saturn V moon rocket. The fully reusable Starship system uses in-space propellant transfer to achieve this and carry people on long duration interplanetary flights. Alongside Starships, SpaceX is also building a super heavy booster that will also be fully reusable and capable of supporting regular rocket launches from Earth. When combined, this two-stage rocket will measure 120 meters in height and will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. The latest iteration of the Starship to take the sky is part of a line of next-generation boosters designed to transport cargo and passengers to the Moon and Mars in the future. Testing of the Starship second stage began in 2019 as part of an extensive development program to prove out launch and landing and iterate on a variety of design details, particularly for the vehicle's atmospheric re-entry. The early three prototypes did low-altitude, low-velocity flight tests of vertical launching and landing in 2019 and 2020. Following these tests, Starship prototypes SN8 through SN11 performed the first high-altitude test flights all successfully demonstrating most of the atmospheric re-entry profile in the lower atmosphere, although none managed to land and be recovered successfully. On May 5, 2021, Starship serial number 15, popularly called the SN15, completed SpaceX's fifth high-altitude flight test of a Starship prototype for a starbase in Texas. The Starship prototype descended under active aerodynamic control accomplished by the independent movement of two forward and two aft flaps on the vehicle. Starship SN15 lifted off at 6.24 p.m. EDT from SpaceX's Boca Chica, Texas facility, soaring more than six miles into the sky to test in-flight maneuvers. Similar to previous high-altitude flight tests of the Starship, SN15 was powered through ascent by three Raptor engines each shutting down in sequence before the vehicle reached Apogee, approximately 10 kilometers on altitude. The Raptor engine is a reusable metal ox stage combustion engine that powers the Starship launch system. Raptor engine began flight testing on the Starship prototype rockets in July 2019, becoming the first full-flow staged combustion rocket engine ever flown. Nearing land, two engines reignited to execute a complex landing flip maneuver where the rocket repositions itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent ahead of a soft touchdown. The rocket deployed a set of tiny legs and landed firmly on a concrete pad not far from where its launch pad, and SN-15 became the first Starship prototype to survive a high-altitude launch. All four flaps were actuated by an onboard flight computer to control the Starship's altitude during the flight, and this enabled precise landing at the intended location. Although a small fire appeared near the base of the rocket after landing, it was extinguished a few moments later. And John Insprecher, a SpaceX engineer, said on a live stream that the fire was not unusual for the methane fuel the rocket was carrying.
The whole flight from launch to landing lasted just over six minutes. SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, then went further to declare the success of the Starship prototype about seven minutes after a touchdown in a tweet saying, quote, Starship landing nominal on May 5th, 2021. The launch and landing capped an extraordinary three weeks for SpaceX that started with the launch of a Crew Dragon capsule atop a Falcon 9 rocket on April 23rd, carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station. Starship SN15 is the prototype of the second batch of fully stacked Starship prototypes with major upgrades. The SN15 SpaceX includes a new thrust puck design, reduced complexity and weight, as the three O2 inlets are combined to one central inlet for all three Raptors, making it four inlets instead of six. After a series of failed tests on the prototype SN8, SN9, and SN10 versions, SpaceX has finally been able to fly and successfully land SN15, making it the first successful prototype. However, as of right now, it is still unclear if the SN15 would fly again. Back at the building facility, Starship SN16's body and nose cone were recently rolled out of the mid-bay and over to the high bay for stacking. Additionally, a new Raptor engine titled Insert Meme Here was also spotted being delivered to the production hangars. The launch of the SN15 was also the first test to occur after SpaceX was awarded a $2.9 billion contract to build a lunar variant of the Starship to land NASA astronauts on the moon under the agency's Artemis program. However, as of right now, the contract is on hold while a protest filed by Blue Origin and Dynetics, who were the other two contenders for the human system landing contract, is being resolved by the Government Accountability Office. SN15 is the first Starship prototype to land successfully as the four previous high-altitude prototypes exploded upon attempting to land, either on landing, moments before touchdown, or moments after the touchdown. SpaceX launched a high-altitude Starship prototype rocket and successfully landed it for the first time on Wednesday, overcoming a key challenge in Elon Musk's whirlwind quest to build a fully reusable Mars rocket. Musk had said the SN15 rocket contained hundreds of design improvements over past high-altitude prototypes, which were all destroyed during the explosive landing attempts. Starship isn't just about going to Mars. SpaceX envisions several other possible uses for the shuttle including delivering satellites further and at a lower cost per launch than its current range. One of SpaceX's visions is to ultimately colonize Mars. And if you're probably picturing a far-off science fiction, well, think again. Musk says he intends to send the first settlers over to the Red Planet well within our lifetime, possibly before the end of another decade. At the Axel Springer Awards last year in Berlin, when Elon Musk was asked when humans would be able to travel to Mars, the SpaceX founder replied, quote, I'd say six years from now, highly confident. If we get lucky, maybe four. SN15 has vehicle improvements across structures, avionics, software, and engines that would allow more speed and efficiency throughout production and flight. Specifically, a newly enhanced avionics suite, updated propellant architecture in the aft skirt, and a new Raptor engine design and configuration. A controlled aerodynamic descent with body flaps and vertical landing capability combined with in-space refilling. These features are critical to landing starships in destinations across the solar system, where prepared surfaces or runways don't exist, as well as returning back to Earth. The starship is expected to enter Mars's atmosphere at 7.5 kilometers per second and decelerate aerodynamically. The vehicle's heat shield is designed to withstand multiple antics, However, given that the vehicle is coming into Mars so hot, we should still expect to see some ablation of the heat shield, quite similar to wear and tear on a brake pad. The SN15 would be the first Starship of the Block 3 prototype intended for reducing complexity and increasing reliability. It also has better cable management than any of the previous prototypes. Reusability is key to a Starship's design, meaning that it has to be able to land safely. These test flights of Starships are all about improving our understanding and development of a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo on long-duration interplanetary flights and help humanity return to the moon, as well as travel to Mars and beyond. Starship will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed with the ability to carry more than 100 metric tons of Earth's orbit.
Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos on SpaceX and Elon Musk.